everyone, Intuitive Edge here. Welcome once again to my channel. Thanks for joining me. So I want to talk about something that I saw this morning. Um, I was in meditation and I was drawn in my mind's eye over to Taiwan. I'm going to go ahead and share with you what I wrote down. As we know, China has been itching to completely dominate and take over Taiwan for a very long time. Um, there's been some tension between the island and mainland China. But what I saw was a mighty, large, and I'm talking giant, angel that currently guards Taiwan in the spiritual realm. This angel was immense. His whole being covered the entire island. That's how big this angel is. I also saw in my mind's eye like a door. If you picture a door laying on the ground, that's what I picture. And it was, it was covering the ground on the island, this door. And the door was sealed shut and the angel had its foot over the door. Now I'm not sure exactly what is inside this door, whether it's protecting something from coming out or protecting invading armies from getting in, but this angel is very guarded over this door and protecting it. Um, the angel, as I mentioned, was very huge, very large, and his colors associated with this being um, are difficult to describe, but they were a combination of brilliant blue, but almost like an aqua blue, and a beautiful green, and a kind of a swirling, vibrantly bright, not neon, not pastel, but just bright, brilliant blues and greens kind of hues around this, the color of this being. Uh, there was a door, okay, I got the door was closed and sealed, looking at my notes here. I saw in my mind's eye the advances of the Chinese army, and I felt the energy of aggressiveness toward Taiwan. And I sensed that as long as this angel had his foot on the door and was protecting the island, that the vibration of the island was higher than the vibration of the advancing Chinese army. And it was like there wasn't a good fit or a good match um, that the two oppose and just aren't able to connect. What I saw, let me see. Um, oh, I got that as long as that door remained closed, China's armies would not be able to prevail against Taiwan because the energies weren't right and the timing wasn't right. Now you've all heard the phrase, strike while the iron is hot. And this was like, the timing isn't right the iron's not hot, there, it's just, it's not a wash. There's not going to be success in any kind of incursion by an invading army. I saw the Taiwanese monks and holy people in holy places, maybe such as temples or caves or even in houses. And I see like, their metal bowls that they use, the singing bowls, and gongs, and doing prayers, and chants, and rituals for protection over the island. And I felt like these prayers were emboldening that angel to continue to protect the island. So I also felt like this island had a sense of peace about it like even down to the lowliest of of peasants maybe that that live if there are people in poverty down to the the very least you would say in society by society standards even they feel a sense of peace and tranquility and goodness 
on the island of Taiwan. Even those that might have difficult life circumstances or the homeless or that kind of thing, even they feel protected and a sense of peace. And it permeates the island and it's ancient. This, this angel has been with them for a very long time. I want to say like 5,000 years, maybe longer. But he has been... Sorry, I got interrupted by a phone call there. This angel has been with them and will continue to be a protector of that island. And I don't know the extent of their religious beliefs or practices, but, uh, but their prayers and their chants and their rituals do have a positive impact. And this angel is a very protective angel and it is over that island. And uh, so uh, I was encouraged to see it just because of what we've been seeing in the news. I know that China feels probably a little more emboldened due to the current administration of the United States. Um, uh, I don't think China would have dared to do anything toward Taiwan with the previous administration. But uh, I think China's feeling a little more like it can get away with things, but the timing isn't right. They, you know, they, they may, you know, maybe they'll try something, but ultimately it will, it will not work in their favor to go against Taiwan. So, I just wanted to share that. That's what I sensed. Um, I also pulled a few cards on it just to kind of see. And I got, I, I was asking, you know, is that angel going to continue to protect Taiwan from uh, any kind of incursion or advancing army? And the, the Page of Cups came out. This is, you know, a message about something kind of fishy going on. But it's crossed by the Victory card. And leading right into the chariot, which to me felt like um, the protection of that angel. Because that's what I was asking about. And I do think that there may be some things coming up. We've got this card on the environment, which is things happening, things happening quickly. So we may see some stuff maybe more in the news. Um, so I guess we'll just keep an eye on what happens over there and uh, wishing all those people well. There's a lot of ancient documents, and I don't know how they kept records, but they have ancient records going way, way back in libraries that are protected heavily. Um, we all know what happens to ancient wisdom and, and ancient teachings. Um, they tend to burn in fires like the, the, the library of Alexandria, Egypt where much of our collective history was lost and what happened when, um, when the United States invaded Iran and so many of their museums were looted and priceless artifacts were lost, you know, were stolen basically. Um, there is there is a segment if you talk about uh, warring angels uh, i believe there are a segment that want to keep humanity from learning the truth about its own history perhaps if we knew the truth of our origins and where we really came from and what our purpose is uh, perhaps much of the unrest and the fighting on earth would cease perhaps we would realize our brotherhood amongst all of us. Uh, there's a lot for the powers of darkness to lose by us recognizing and learning who we are. And uh, Taiwan, interestingly enough, has been a long a holdout for a long time and they do have a wealth of information there. And uh, so I pray for their continued protection, especially for the wisdom and the knowledge that is held on that island to be preserved. So those are my thoughts. Anyway, I just wanted to share with you what I saw about the angel and I uh, hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like, 
Uh, you can follow me on much of my other pages. I'm on Minds, I'm on Patreon, uh, I am on Telegram. So feel free to join me, follow me elsewhere. And uh, love to you all. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time. Bye for now.